In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to be able to create a secure data room from your Dropbox or Google Drive account, where each participant's engagement, previews or downloads of the material, is audited. First thing you want to do is go to orangedocs.com and select Get Started for Free. Inside the Orange Docs application, we have a variety of different apps, including data rooms. There's a variety of different use cases for data rooms, including compliance. Say, for instance, you have uh, employees, internal, external, who require you are required to review training material or safety material. Uh, in this case, you can create a secure data room, share it with them, and we can audit them to know exactly who viewed the material and who did not. You could also be a finance or deal management professional and need to create an M and A room um, and know exactly what participant has previewed or downloaded the material from that room. In our particular case. We're going to go ahead and create an M&A room for an acquisition for our company. In this particular case, we only let you select a, uh, a folder for your data room. This will allow you to go ahead and edit the, the documents within the room and it will automatically be synced with Orange Docs. That way you can hit one link for the room and change the material as, as required as the deal progresses. In this case, we'll choose M&A documents as our folder of material that we want to share or, or create our data room off of. Next thing we want to do is, is specify exactly who the participants are for this data room. You can go ahead and enter the email addresses manually here or just upload a CSV file of uh, email addresses you already have procured. We'll go ahead and do that. In this case, we have two um, to the say uh, people from the company that we're acquiring, we want to include in this data room and both of their lawyers as well. And we'll go ahead and finish that. This will create now a new room with a unique link for each of these users or participants of the room, including a unique password for each one of them as well. And this will let us go ahead and track specifically what each of these um, participants does within the room. So for demo purposes, I'm just going to copy one of these out and pretend like I'm Chad entering the room. If we go ahead and paste this here. We'll pull out the password. So we'll need that. And we'll go ahead and enter the password. And access the room. A couple things you're going to notice. Number one, this deal room actually has an advertisement here, plus our logo. Uh, you can upgrade to business to remove the advertisements and to brand the room as your own uh, uh, corporate branding. Um, next thing you'll notice is we have a variety of different documents within the room and maybe including a folder of signed documents. So as, as a user goes ahead and previews these documents and downloads them, um, we can go ahead then and receive the signed copies and then republish them again back into our data room. So there's all the all the copies of the material is all in one place. So we have an investor presentation that maybe needs to be previewed first, including a download on that from Chad. We can also go ahead and preview things like the NDA and download that. Now I'll go ahead and pretend that I am Carrie here um, one of their lawyers, and we'll go ahead and see what she downloads and previews as well. So we'll paste in her password. Say, for instance, she might go ahead and look at the partnership agreement and review that, and maybe do a download on that too. And she might go ahead and look at the NDA as well and download that. Now, as say, for instance, um, the NDAs get signed and resent back to myself, I may want to go ahead and republish those under final signed copies. And to do so, all I need to do is take the, go back to my Dropbox. So this is in Dropbox now. I can go ahead and locate my final signed copies folder. I might then take the one that got emailed to me and go ahead and publish that into Dropbox. And when I do so, now 
any of the users who have access to our data room now have the ability to see those final signed copies without any type of refresh. They simply go in and they'll see the signed NDA that they signed already. This allows you to go ahead and change the material inside of your data room at any point in time without resending any new access to your data room participants. Again, all that information, whenever the viewer preview that document, will be tracked as well. So now we'll go back to Orange Docs and we'll close the window here and we'll go ahead and see if we can view some of the metrics of our participants and what they've been doing in our data room. So we'll click data rooms and we'll see the first thing we'll notice under our Acme acquisition is that two out of the four participants have been engaged in our data room. As we click on that to find more information, we'll see that Carrie has previewed, uh, downloaded two documents and previewed two as well while well, Chad has done the same. If we click on Carrie, we can find out specifically what she's been doing. We can see that she's downloaded and previewed the NDA as well as the partnership agreement. We can find out specifically if she's, what she's done, uh, what, when she's particularly downloaded that. So we can look at the, the date and click that data point and find out that she downloaded around 5 p.m. on that particular date. Looking at Chad, we can see specifically what they've They've looked at the presentation in the NDA, and we can find out specifically what pages of the presentation they've looked at and when they've downloaded or previewed it as well. So this should give you an easy way to go ahead and create a data room right from your Google Drive or Dropbox. We also have other tutorials that show you how to use our other applications like our sales, marketing, and personal applications. Thanks.